Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a casted game of Age of Empires 3. Spawning in on the northern side of the map, we've got a horse hair brush. <laughs> a very creative name right there, but this is a Callan. He's uh, going to be spawning in here on the north, playing as the Germans for us today. Going to be opening up with that market start. Going to be grabbing himself uh, hunting dogs in there as well, so... Going to be looking pretty standard here for the time being. But his opponent spawning in on the south side of the map in the color red. It's unvaccinated. Playing as the Russians here. So back to the to the good old matchups here of uh, just, just European civs. You know, the, uh, the OG8 civs in here. So Russia up against Germany here. Looks like we're going to be seeing a market start out of unvaccinated here as well, as we see. He's not got any upgrades in there quite yet. They're going to be trading up his settlers. He's going to need a little bit of wood, it seems, to be able to grab his hunting dogs. But the first card comes in. Let's see what his deck looks like. Doesn't look like he's picked it quite yet. It looks like he's waiting for the time being. Currently focused over here on the, the treasure. What's he going to be picking up here? Ooh, that's that's a pretty good treasure. 100 food we see there. Finally going to be queuing, queuing up his card distributivism. So, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary there. This is pretty much the standard opening card for the Russians. So, very standard stuff here. Nothing else in age one. So, yeah, a very standard stuff here for unvaccinated. Callum, on the other hand, we see... He's got two Sattler Wagons coming in here. We've got Dop Run. That is the name of the deck here. Dop. Is he going to be making Doppler, Doppler Sonas? I believe that's how you pronounce it. I've never had to say the name before in a car, so <laughs> apologies if I'm uh, messing up the name there. But I'm pretty sure that's what they are called. We see, gonna, we see there he's going to be grabbing those two Sattler Wagons. We also see he's going to be bringing back some cows as well. Cows are on this map, so players are going to be looking to pick them up. We see him vaccinated. He's got three already back at home, and looks like Callan's going to be eating some of these as well, just to get the age up through a little bit faster. So you see, he's going to be stopping production now on 11 villagers. Obviously, the, the settler wagons here in here do count as two, so that's why he's slightly higher on the population count here. And he's going to be aging up with the Quartermaster. They're going to be giving himself the extra 400 wood right there with the age up. So, looks like he's moving everything now over to the wood. Is he going to be going for a TP in transition? For the time being, he's going for another treasure here. 80 food. Definitely a nice treasure. So he's going to be just microing this treasure here. Definitely a, a nice treasure to grab. But usually we see the Germans in this transition period look to pick up a TP. Which he's not yet done. So we'll have to see what he looks to do That Maybe his build has got something to, to do with it here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we do usually see a, a TP out of the, the Germans here. But not going to be the case this time. We see some walls coming up here from him already. So the Russians here, usually the way they play is very aggressive, right? So... Callan here, already going to be walling up this side of the base. Really smart, using the native TP here to his advantage. You know, getting some nice nice control towards the back of the map here. Deletes the pillars out as well, just to save a little bit of wood. A little bit of time for your villager building up these walls. So really nice so far here. We see that TP is now going to get added in. So not necessarily late, but... Yeah, you know, it, it could have been added in a little bit earlier if you didn't go for the treasure. But still, up at a nice time here. Age up comes through now for him. Just before the Russian player, we see three settler wagons immediately put into the queue there. Unvaccinated, on the other hand, we see he's still a little bit away from his uh, his age up. He's going up with a lodge addition. Okay, interesting stuff. And we see that blockhouse is going to get dropped down here in the middle of the map. So he's going to be securing up a lot of hunt here. We see Callan. He's going to find it a little bit tricky now to pull in this hunt. Fortunately for him, he's still got plenty of food in the base. We see he's got a nice bison herd underneath the TC as well. His, as well as his uh, 
pronghorn herd and he's got another bison herd towards the back of the base we see plenty of wolves coming up for him as well so those herds are not going to be running outside of the base so he's going to be feeling pretty happy so far church is up in the back of the base going to be granting him just a little bit of an xp trickle and we see now gallant going to be on the run with the yulans military wagon gets popped out of the blockhouse he's going to get up in time though sometimes you've got to be careful with the yulans patrolling right you don't want to be losing that military wagon for free next card coming in here for Callan is going to be the 700 wood and at the moment he doesn't have down any sort of production needs to be super careful here of his bison hunt he does not want this running outside of the base and that's exactly what they're doing definitely unfortunate for him but it does find the explorer kill right there so I'm vaccinated, going to be losing out on uh, on his Explorer, and Callan's going to be picking up that XP. So very nice start for him there, but he needs to be careful of this hunt. We see he's starting to run a little bit low in the base now, and unvaccinated with the forward block houses here. You know, he's going to be putting on the aggression, so you need to be careful of your food. And we see that Cossacks get called in. They get popped out from the, the home TC. We've got two block houses block houses in the base there's something i'm vaccinated could have done was set the military spawn point from this block house but didn't decide to do that instead just gonna be uh maybe that was just a little bit of a misclick there we're gonna be calling them in from the tc and we see i think there's another block house that just got cancelled there for unvaccinated is he gonna be going for a slightly more aggressive one possibly we think we see we hear just things getting destroyed left right and center right now i mean I'm not exactly sure what that building was going to be from Unvaccinated, but looks like it has been cancelled and now going to be looking to run in here with the Cossacks. But Callan's got a great defensive position right now. Can Garrison builds into the TC, going to be getting Town Center Fire, which does provide a bonus damage towards Cavalry. So we see a huge amount of damage being put onto the Cossacks right here. He's trying to find a raid in, but not going to be finding much here. Snare gets put onto the Cossacks. The first Cossack goes down. Second Cossack going to be going down. First Yulon does go down. Villagers even getting in on the action right now. we got another two Saddle Wagons coming through here. A terrible fight for Unvaccinated. Losing out on all five of his Cossacks. And we see here Callum. He's still got alive most of his Yulon. And Yulon are also... Uh, they're, they have a lot less HP, right? So losing out on five Cossack like that is pretty rough, especially when you didn't find any sort of villager kill. But Callan, he's going to be aging up now. We see he's got enough food. He's got enough gold in the bank. So let's have a look, see what he goes up with. It's going to be the Exile Prince. So going to be getting that age up through super fast as uh, this is the age up that increases that, that speed we see coming through super fast right here. I'm vaccinated on the other hand. He's just pumping out the units right here. Have a look at this. He's already up to 20 Strelots. He's got another 10 on the way back home here. He's up to 30 already. Is he looking to just play it out here in age two? I think that might be the case. We see Macro may be looking towards that fortress age. So maybe looking towards it now. But he's got a huge force outside the base here. He could always look to just maybe prod at this gold mine but you just need to be so careful with yulans out for uh for callan he's only got a few but you know the strelots they aren't exactly your uh your skirmisher right well they they technically are a skirmisher but then they're, they're not as good as a skirmisher they're really really weak they can get taken out super easily by a few yulan so you just need to be careful and as a result of that it seems like i'm vaccinated just gonna be sitting back here underneath the block houses because if Callan does look to dive underneath this, he'll be taking bonus damage from both of these buildings. But behind this, we see Unvaccinated going to be grabbing himself Stagecoach. As he does have both TPs at the same point, though. Callan, he's got both of his TPs as well, so maybe he looks to grab Stagecoach. But Unvaccinated, he's going to be going up to the Fortress Age now. There it is, in the queue. The Adventurer going to be coming through for him. But Callan, on the other hand, have a look at this. Look what he's got coming through. He's trading up a Doppler Sona. He's already got five out as well. Have a look at this. Now sending through 1k coin. Okay, this could be really interesting because 
Doppler sonas do get count countered by strelots, but if you can get a decent mass of these and get them up nice and close towards these strelots and get some serious area of effect damage in, these guys will absolutely slice through this mass just because they're so low on HP. Look at this, 72 health. It's nothing. And they don't have any sort of melee defense uh, multiplier, so... Doppler Sonas, if they can jump on top of the Stralis, they can do a huge amount of damage. They just need to make sure they can get on top of them. But we see Callan, he's going to be grabbing himself these upgrades. Veterancy yeah. upgrades coming in now for the Doppler Sona. For yeah. the uh, Yulan, doesn't look like that's going to be coming through quite yet. Doesn't even have down a stable. So not even going to be able to grab that upgrade if he wanted to. Kind of surprising there from him that he hasn't dropped one down yet. Just for that upgrade. The upgrade's so important here for the Germans. You know, he's already up to 10 here. And getting those upgrades through for rates is really, really important. But that's not what he's going towards yet. And have a look at this. I'm vaccinated. How many Strelitz do you have? You're up to 63 already. He hasn't made a single other unit this game. This is absolutely crazy. He's building up another block house as well now. It's up to six on the map. The edge up comes through for him. Veterancy upgrades. Not going to be coming through quite yet, but we've got Strelit combat coming through. An extra 20% damage, an extra 20% health points, as well as the Veterancy upgrade coming through now. Militia also going to get called out here. Callum going to be able to find some good raids. So we see two villagers going to be going down. He may even find another pick over here, but it looks like they're going to be retreating into the blockhouse. Look at the army coming through for, for unvaccinated. That is a huge amount of Strelitz. But at the same point, Doppler Sonos on the front line with their huge siege attack are going to be taking out the blockhouses and it cancels the veterancy upgrade coming through for unvaccinated. This is huge for Callum. We see more blockhouses going to get dropped down as well as some houses over here. Vaccinated is going to have to queue up that veterancy upgrade once again. Fortunately for him, doesn't have any sort of, uh, you know, mass Yolan that he needs to deal with at the moment with these trellers. But we see there getting the extra health in from the cards. He's actually got quite a few cards in here for the, the, the Strellas. So, you know, he is looking very good when it comes to Strellas. But the question is, is he going to be able to keep them all alive up against this huge mass of Doppler Sonas? Look at this. we got 19 out for Callan at the moment. And he's still got a load of Yulan out on the field. So if you're vaccinated here, you need to be super, super careful with this mass because sure, it's looking pretty strong at the moment. But if you get caught out of position with these Doppler Sonas, you know, they're just going to be able to swipe through the Strellas. Gallant now going to be grabbing his church card Going to be using that church there to his advantage. Unvaccinated, on the other hand, doing what he does best. Just going to be queuing up even more Strelitz. Absolutely crazy the amount of uh, Strelitz that he's making here. See, even more in the queue. Look at this. So many Strelitz. Obviously, they're really cheap. We see here 38 food, 10 wood per Strelitz. But it's still a huge number that he's got here. Now going to be sending in the next card. Sovnia. I think that's how you uh, you pronounce it. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly the uh, the pronunciation expert right here, but this is going to be adding a load of uh, a load of attack damage when it comes to the Strelitz melee attack, which is going to be really nice for him when facing up against hand to hand combat with Yulans and Doppler Sonas. So really, really nice for him. There, he's looking to now push forward. He's got 90. In fact, he might have over 90 in here, but he's got more and more on the way. In fact, there we go. We hit, he's got 95 as well as a couple extra in there. And we see Doppler Sonus here. Needs to be careful. As they will be taking a lot of damage here from the Strelitz. But we've talked about this, right? If they can get on top of this mass, they will absolutely dominate. But still, more Strelitz coming through. Callan looking in a decent position right now. We see he's ahead in score. He's got some decent map control. He's got tons of TCs up at the moment. He's up to three. Compared to Unvaccinated, who's still on the one. So Callum looking in a really, really good spot at the moment. But Unvaccinated, you know, he's really starting to build up this mass. Double Sonus getting caught out of position on the back line. Trying to find some good raids in here. He might be able to find some villagers over here. In fact, they're not villagers. Those are Minutemen. So, yeah, they're not going to be... Yeah, I, I, One swipe from a Doppler Sonus is going to be able to take this one out. 
Oh, there you go. But look at the mass. Huge amount of mass. And I'm vaccinated behind this. Hasn't looked to add in any sort of musketeer. He's got down his arsenal, so he's going to be grabbing all of those important upgrades. So the idea for him here is he just wants to make the best Strelet he can possibly make. And not have to worry about investing into any other units. Which is it's extremely risky, right? It's extremely risky because you're basically opening yourself up to the fact Callum can just make a pure counter and you've got no answer to it. We see those Doppler Sonas having to retreat back once again. Strelitz all over the map right now from vaccinated. They're just everywhere. Look at them. He's just got a crazy, crazy number. Those Doppler Sonas able to get some good damage in here are going to be going down though. And you've got to remember, Doppler Sonas, they're expensive units right here. Let's have a look at the cost. We see there that they're, they're 83 food, 138 coin each. It's a lot. It's a lot. So you got to be really, really careful. And we see there the Strelitz getting cleaned up. Doppler Sonas finding some good value. They're looking for villagers. These units are absolutely amazing when it comes to raiding. Uh, obviously, they're a bit slow. So that's not the, the best thing for them. But if they can get on top of villagers, their area of effect damage is just so damn good. But I'm vaccinated. We see he's back here with the Strelitz. He's able to deal a lot of damage very quickly to those Doppler Sonas. And we see the siege attack coming through for Callum. Means he's able to take out that blockhouse. And look at the villager kills he's getting right here. It's a huge amount, but he's losing a lot of army for it. We see those Strellas just destroying those Doppler Sonas. But Yulon on the back line also get cleaned up. Did find some value there with the on top of the Strellas. But honestly, Callum, it's looking a bit rough for him. The numbers here from Vaccinated is huge. He's up to just... I, I, I don't even know how many at this point. We've got 73 over here. We've got another 34 over here. It's a huge, huge amount. And we've got some upgrades coming through now. It's going to deliver two block houses as well as increase the hit points. So we could always look to go a little bit aggressive with this. Maybe on the front line here. As we see Callan trying to go for another raid once again with the Doppler Sonus. He's trying to get on top of the eco here from Vaccinated. You see he's got a load of hunt behind the base here. And Vaccinated sitting at 28 villagers. Callan up to 62. And the thing is, 62 villagers, they're not just villagers. They're also settler wagons, which is worth even more when it comes to your economy. So Callan at the moment, he is sitting in such a good position. We see he's up by almost 10k in score. I feel like it's going to be hard for for Unvaccinated to come back into this. He needs to find some huge value here with this Streltsy mass. First town center is looking to get taken out here. A couple of villagers may be going down with it. I'm not sure how many villagers sit inside the TC here, but I think a few will be sitting in here. We see Minutemen. Not going to be called here. But Doppler Sonos coming in on the back line. Villagers. Mm, okay, Doppler Sonos now going to be looking to go in here, but they just fall back. It seems like Callan is, is finding it tricky. It's fine value, but he's got the surround coming in. We see Doppler Sonos coming in from the south. From the left-hand side, from the right-hand side, Town Sense Fire still going to be helping out here with the TC sitting on 13 HP. That is going to be TC Fire. That is huge here for Callan. And we see the Strelsey getting absolutely cleaned up here. But the Doppler Sonas also going to get taken out here. And these are the most expensive unit here. And the thing is, look at this. I'm vaccinated. It's got a huge amount of army on the back line as well that he's going to be able to bring in here. And go in for round number two. As we see that TC is now getting repaired up. It's going to get cancelled out by these couple Strelitz. Sieging that one down. We've got another card coming in here. Infantry siege attack increased by 50%. Which means it's going to become a lot easier now for unvaccinated to start to siege down these TCs. And these, uh, you know, production buildings, houses, etc. As we see, he's going to be losing out on this TP as well. That card will be coming through soon. Callan, on the other hand, he's got Eco Theory coming through. Just trying to, trying to, you know, win this game by using his economy to his advantage. We see he's still up by a huge amount. But is he going to be able to hold? I'm vaccinated at the moment. He's looking in such a strong position when it comes to his military. 
The thing he just doesn't have at the moment is Eco. Look at this. He's down to 26 villagers. He's floating so much food right now. And it's all going to get translated into mass strider. Look at this. We've got another 30 in the queue. And vaccinated. has got super buffed up strider here as well. We see so many cards have been sent through. All three of these... All three of these cards have been sent through for his, uh, for his Stralots. So these are not to be messed with. I'm very surprised as to why Callan hasn't just gone for a mass cavalry transition. But I think that is going to be the case for him now. We see another stable going to get dropped down. He needs a massive cavalry here to be able to take this out. And double owners at the moment haven't been doing too much damage. Vaccinated's got quite a few upgrades in there to boost his melee attack. So, you know, he, he still does a decent job up against these Doppler owners. And we see here, Mike's nated. Look at the reinforcements coming through for him at the moment. It's a huge amount. And vaccinated here as well, getting off a few raids. Not going to be too detrimental to Callan. We see he's still at 67. But he's losing a lot of production here. And Callan just doesn't have a lot of army out on the field. In fact, he's got barely anything. His Doppler Sonas are going down as well over here. A single Doppler Sona is over here. We see that area of effect damage coming out pretty handy there. Taking out a villager. But look at this. Look at the mini-map right here. We've got raids going on absolutely everywhere. Callan going to get pushed off his estate here. He's struggling now for gold. We see this silver mine has been pushed away from Callan. The Germans, obviously, they love their gold. They want to be using it. You know, they need gold to survive here. And vaccinated. He's just got the map control at the moment with just the sheer amount of Strelitz that he's got. Callan, he's looking in such a rough position. We've got more Yolan out. Looks like this will get cleaned up. But is he going to be able to hold against this? 30 over here. We've got another 78 over here. We've got 19 coming on over here. We've got so many Strelitz out on the map. The Strelit only challenge coming through here from unvaccinated. We got a last attempt here, it looks like, from Callan. He's going to try going with all of his cavalry. He's got through double production. He's got his veterancy upgrades in. Callan going to be calling the GG here. Going to be tapping out up against the Streltsy only challenge from Unvaccinated. What a crazy game from Unvaccinated, showing the power of Russian Streltsy. If you did enjoy this game, please do feel free to leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.